Okay, this video, first of all, is going to start out by focusing on how to set up the diagram that illustrates the situation. Uh, we've got a ship that's traveling on a bearing of south, 10 degrees west. That mean, if we have the start, ship start at the origin, if one of them heads south, that would be this direction, but then 10 degrees to the west, that makes this angle right here 10 degrees. And if it travels at 13 miles an hour for two hours, after two hours, the distance that it will have traveled is 26 miles. By the same token, the ship starting north 75 degrees east, starting here, heading north 75 degrees east, that makes this a 75 degree angle which means this little angle right here is 15 degrees because they have to add up to 90. So what's the size of this angle? Well, we've got 90 right here, plus 15, plus 10, or 90 plus 25. So this is a 115 degree angle. And oh, by the way, this ship is traveling at 11 miles per hour for two hours, so the distance that ship will be from the starting point at the end of two hours is 22 miles. So what we have is a side angle, side triangle, <clears throat> which means we can apply the law of cosines. If we call this side A, then that the, the unknown side, the opposite side in a side angle, side situation is a squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, 22 squared plus 26 squared. It's kind of looking like the Pythagorean theorem. But this is not a right angle, so it's not really the Pythagorean theorem. We have to account for the fact by applying the law of cosines, which that last term looks like this minus two times the product of the two legs times the cosine of the included angle which the cosine of 115 is a negative number so this term actually becomes negative which means that this a is longer than if the hypotenuse of a right triangle if this had been a 90 degree angle. Okay, and so to find A, we have to take the square root of all of that. We'll just go to board two and see what that looks like. So there's the square root of the sum of the squares of the two si known sides of the triangle minus two times the product of those two times the cosine of the included angle. There's your answer right there. Uh, don't worry about where I got this for right now, but I did calculate the coordinates of points B and C, which those were, this was B, this was C, and this is the distance from B to C, and it comes out as 40.539. So that kind of proves that the law of cosine work. Where this is 115, this is 26, this is 22. Okay, you can take a look at the Desmos graph and see if you can figure out what I did to get the coordinates of B and C. It has to do with some right triangle trigonometry. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment. <laughs>